today I'm gonna help you turn the LG Dare into one of the most popular phones right now. The iPhone. Without changing the operating system. This place is a prison. First of all, you want to create a new document in Photoshop. Name it whatever you want. I named it the iPhone theme on LG Dare. Create it 240 width in pixels, 400 height in pixels, the resolution 300 for your max photo quality, and then create your new document by pressing OK. First of all, you want to select your color for your background, I'm choosing black. Go to the paint bucket tool, fill in your background. After this, you can choose to put a picture behind the, the buttons or some text. I'm just going with a solid black just to keep it simple. Go to the rounded rectangle tool, make sure that's selected. Make sure you have white selected. Press shift, click with your mouse, drag to the appropriate size. It's going to create a white outline filled in. Now go to your shape and your layers. Double click it to bring up the layer style menu. Click gradient overlay and stroke. Go to your stroke. Double click the color. Do white. Click OK. Go to 1 on the pixel right here for the size tab 30% on the opacity then you go to your gradient overlay double click the gradient click the tab make sure that's 57 press enter and click OK and go up here to the opacity for the shape take that down to 60% and there you have one button made and you're going to go three across and three down and then after you have them all lined up you'll end up with something like this and I chose to put the Apple logo in there you can put something else if you would like. Or you can just stick with the standard like I did. And the reason why I put the Apple logo in there is because the little tab on the LG Dare comes out over that button and it won't actually let you drag and drop an icon there unless you take that tab out, which I like it in there. Since all the buttons won't fit on one page. Then what you're going to do is save it as a JPEG, largest file possible. Go to your email and send it to your phone. And then set it as your wallpaper and drag and drop the icons into the middle of boxes from the shortcut menu and then you get something like this